Shalom, beloved. Once again, I welcome you to Rheumatic with Pastor Jerry. Uh, today, I want to, first of all, I mean, introduce my book, my second book, The Glorious Life. It's uh, available, it's, it's powerful, inspiring, and uh, you can get a copy if you inbox me on Facebook. And uh, the first book is Bound with the Glorious Spoon. It's a powerful book also. These are revelations from the throne of grace, and it will change your life. Just inbox me, then we'll get a copy to you. God bless you. And uh, I've been talk, kind of talking about the name of the Lord, the name of Jesus. Today, I want to read the scripture to us. The background of this scripture is in Luke chapter 10. The Lord Jesus, the Bible said, called the 70, not the 12, the 70, and sent them out two by two to every place where he was about to go. And he asked them, he commissioned them, he said, as you go, he said, in my name, preach the gospel. He deceived, raise the dead, cast out devils freely, you receive freely again. And they went and did what the master asked them to do. And the Bible said they returned again. They were excited. They were excited. They were happy. You know. And they said in Luke chapter 10 verse 17. He said, and the 70 sent out returned again with joy. They returned with joy. They were so excited. What was the excitement? Is that the Bible said they returned again with joy saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us. Through your name. Hallelujah. He said, Lord, even the devils, they were amazed that the demons were subject to them. But by what means were the demons subject to them? The demons were subject to them by the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus is not just the son name, as I've been explaining. The name of Jesus, the word name there, the Greek word is onoma. Onoma is authority. Is he, they were saying that the devils are subject to us by your authority, <laughs> by your name, by your authority. The devils are subject unto us. That, that they were amazed. And the Lord's response to them was this. The Lord said, and he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. <laughs> I beheld Satan. They were excited. Jesus said, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. He said, Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy. And nothing shall by enemies hurt you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. He said, Nothing. Shall by enemies hurt you. What was he saying? When they returned, he said, Satan is falling. I am the authority. <laughs> I am the authority. And Satan is falling. I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. He said, I'm giving unto you authority. I'm giving unto you power. The word power there is a susia. It means authority. I'm giving you authority. Authority over all the ability. All the ability of the enemy. The word power of the enemy is dunamis. The I'm giving you a susia over the dunamis of the enemy. That means I'm giving you authority over all the ability of the enemy, over the power of the enemy. That authority is in the name of Jesus. And he said, you shall tread upon serpent and scorpion. And over all the powers of the enemy, all occultic power, demonic power, every witchcraft power, witch, uh, witch's power, Jesus is the authority above authority. He's the name above all name. And at the name of Jesus, every name must buy. It doesn't matter what the power is. It's time for us to rise up and walk in the power in the name of Jesus. And they were cited. They said the devils are subject to us through your name. So the name is still the same. Demons are still the same. So the name of Jesus is still the same. As the demons were subject to the apostle through the name of jesus it was not by their holiness or righteousness it was by the name of jesus that demons were subject unto them so the same demons are subject to you and i who have been baptized into the name of jesus we have put on the lord jesus 
We have put on Christ. We have put on the name of Jesus. We are in Christ. He is our son name in the realm of the spirit. Glory to God. I am Jerry Jesus Christ then, because I have put on and baptized into Christ. I am in Christ. My son name is Christ. Then. I am armed with the name of Jesus. Every child of God is baptized into the name of Christ. Then. We are baptized into the body of Christ. So we carry the name. The name belongs to us. Then. So he said, in my name you shall cast out devils. And they did that and they were cited. And Jesus said, yes, I'll be head shaken as like a So as sons and daughters of God, you must be heard. You must see. You must understand. You must comprehend that Satan is falling. He's a defeated fool. And you have authority over him. So exercise your authority over every devil, over every demon. Don't let anybody tell you that there are some demons you cannot handle. No, you may not be able to handle them, but the name of Jesus can handle them. There is no devil, no demon that the name of Jesus cannot handle. It's when he said, I give Give unto you power. He didn't say, I give you power over some demons. No. He didn't say, I give you power over some devils. No. He said, He didn't say, I give you power over some scorpions. No. He did not say, I give you power over some serpent. No. He said, Behold, I give unto you power. Power to do what? To tread on serpent and scorpions and over all of the powers of the enemy. All, 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 means all. All of the powers of the enemy. And he said, nothing shall by enemies harm me. Why? Because you have authority. And you exercise your authority. When you exercise the authority in the name of Jesus, nothing can harm you. And the exciting thing here for me, he said to them in verse 20, he said, notwithstanding, in this rejoice not that the spirit are subject unto you. How? Glory to God. He said, do not rejoice that the spirit are subject unto you. The, the first point I want to take out that is that in the name of Jesus, every spirit, contrary spirit, are subject to the child of God. In the name, in the name of Jesus, spirits are subject unto us. And we should not be subject to demonic spirit. We should not be subject to witches and wizards. We should not be subject to spirit of infirmity. We should not be subject to spirit of poverty. Every spirit is subject to us in the name of Jesus. But if we do not know it, and if we do not exercise our authority, they can take advantage of our ignorance and begin to manipulate us. But we need to know that spirit are subject unto us to the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Every foul spirit, every unclean spirit, every ancestral spirit are subject unto us in the name of Jesus. And I profess over you now, you that is being tormented by any kind of spirit contrary to the spirit of God. I take authority and dominion over that spirit. I bind that spirit in the name of Jesus. I command that spirit to lose your mind. Lose grief. Lose their grief from your mind. In the name of Jesus, I command the spirit of infirmity by the authority in the name of Jesus to lose their grief of your life and go. Now, in the name of Jesus, I declare deliverance over you. In the name of Jesus Christ, glory to God. He said in this rejoice not that the spirit are subject unto you. He said, but rather rejoice. Rejoice. Why? Because your names are written in heaven. Glory to God. I love you. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Heaven knows my name. Heaven knows my name. I rejoice because my names are written in heaven. So my identity as a son is more important to me exercising power. So I must rejoice in Christ, rejoice in the Lord, that I'm a child of God. There is no greater reputation, there is no greater title than being a child of the living God, a son of God. Your name is registered in heaven. My name is registered in heaven. The question is, is your name truly registered in heaven? If your name is not registered in heaven, then you can't exercise authority over demons. You can't exercise authority over power and unclean spirit because this name is given to those whose names are registered in heaven. Hallelujah. The name of Jesus is given to those whose names are registered in heaven. Is your name registered? My name is registered. I know that, that my name is registered. I'm a child of God, born again, filled with the Holy Ghost. I'm excited. I'm just coming from the minister's conference. I mean, in the mystery of Christ seminar, the, the, all, the anointing was awesome. And some of the videos are on Facebook. It was powerful. So you could feel this is the overflow of the mystery of Christ. Amen. And I bless you in the name of God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And once again, these are my books. 
and powerful, powerful, powerful. Born with the glorious phone. This is the first book, and this is the second book, The Glorious Life. All that's for it. Just inbox me that you want a copy, then we'll get it to you on Facebook. Just inbox me in the name of Jesus. You are blessed. That your names are written in the book of life. So heaven knows your name. Heaven knows your name. And I prophesy over you that may the power of God rest upon you. May you may the grace of God activate, be activated in your life first. Receive grace in the name of Jesus. God bless you. I love you. See you again. God bless you.